during the symposium, and we think this is a, a, an essential point nowadays. So playing fast is something important. Playing well is probably something very important as well. What would you have to say about this, please? That is, what you're going to do during this training, and uh, what's your objective, all in all? More than just playing fast, what's very important is the pace, the rhythm, the pace. Now, this is a bit of a subjective notion. It might be slow, it might be fast, but the thing is to be at the right place at the right moment and to have a good flow of throws and passes. We have the uh, even times to play to the wing players. Oh, sorry, that was for the odd m uh, moments when you play in these corridors on the wing and the even times times when you want to have more defenders on one side and open up an opening uh, for, so that it's more comfortable for your teammates on the other side of the court. But when it's such a powerful struggle, which is what we have at the best uh, level, is to develop uh, this uh, ability to be a dangerous player immediately and in a lasting way with uh, uh, players who don't yet have uh, the uh, skills uh, to be able to be excellent and therefore uh, give them the tricks so that they can switch and move between even and odd moments and then they will be able to find more depth they'll know where to throw and find another trick to gain more depth so that's the whole idea the whole idea is to be well positioned on the court even though for me what's very important is to uh, come up to the four with the uh, ball in the hands but but it's very important to have even time and odd time so that you always move towards the goal area if you're holding the ball and a correct positioning of those who are not in position of the ball so that means that we have to follow uh, the fundamentals. You're well positioned, you're well organized, and there's good timing. You can be a dangerous player, and also you have to follow the principles that are clear on the smaller moves. We have three things that are very important, two to the outside, one to the inside, and these throws are interesting because we can hold on like this for a certain while and therefore develop the game we want to develop, which means to uh, uh, create a situation which is really comfortable for a teammate without being in a hurry and therefore to be able to appraise the, the risk you're going to take, a potential risk connected to a given situation, a correct reading of situations. Be patient enough because you're working on the situation to come. Uh, the whole team is working on the right positioning and with time you can find a more a comfortable situation to throw and shoot. Okay, you also train younger players and what would you tell uh, the coaches here? What would you tell the coaches here uh, so that they really understand this notion of speed? It's pace more than speed, I've understood that. So changing rhythm is really what's very important for them, I suppose. And um, therefore, what can you do in a club if it's under 12s or under 13s? I think the most important thing, the most interesting thing is first to be at ease, comfortable and happy with the ball. Second thing, you should really understand what we mean by having many players on one side of the court. If your teammate has the ball, if there's a defender, where you should where should you be? That is on the opposite side or close to where the ball is or the player in possession of the ball. That's something very important depending on, well, of course, regardless of the depth because sometimes you can defend everywhere on the court. But I think, however, this idea is interesting to be able to uh, 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 catch a ball uh, when you're running as long as you're on the right side where there's more opening of space. That's interesting, I think. And then uh, I have uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, things that I like, uh, like baby handball, but the priorities are to be quite mobile on the court and cooperation between the teammates. You know, that's the starting point, I think. And then if you're thinking about transitions maybe I, I didn't ask myself the question this is what I'd uh, move towards that is to recognize the opening of space and to be uh, agile enough to be feel comfortable with the ball thank you uh, very much uh, Eric and we'll meet again afterwards okay thank you very much to you as well thank you
Each time you're in front of a new partner, you have to uh, throw two passes, moving forward, backward. Okay, there's just one constraint, one obligation, which is you have to be organized as a thrower. Okay, as a thrower. So, which is the step that you want to make when you want to be precise, accurate, fast, etc. Two passes. After the two passes, move around behind on the other side and work on your pelvis, your knees, etc. Okay, warm up your arms, throw back to your original position, move forward and change sides. This side, this side, and you have to warm up. More or less in the line. No, a pass. Okay, good. Et là, tu peux changer. Voilà, tu restes dans ce groupe de trois. Très bien. Replace-toi. Okay. Allez, on traîne pas trop. Stop. Okay, okay. Stop. Then after the first pass, run forward. Run forward. Throw the ball. There you are. Just in front of him. Okay. And stay in front of him. Okay. Use him. Use him. Run. Yeah. Use him as an obstacle, a defender, and try and shoot around him, okay? And you have to throw the ball to your other uh, teammate, right? Once you've finished with your team, throw it to him, and there you are. Tu sers d'obstacle. Voilà. Okay, you should be the defender. Vous bien Try and analyze uh, uh, where you place your feet uh, and your steps on the floor so as to throw the ball, okay? In a single line, please. Run, yes, then defend, there you are, and there you are, and you're well balanced on your feet, good, excellent, right. Okay, this is very useful because we're very demanding, you know, when you catch the ball, you will see, we'll do this later on during a match, when you have the ball, remember that you might become a shooter, okay, there are three uh, threats in this case, what you're going to do when you're in possession of the ball, but you should consider that you're ready to shoot, okay? We're going to do the same, but we're going to be dueling. When you've uh, done your pass, you'll move forward, run forward, and then that's dueling and moving on the side. No, just a defending the ball, an obstacle, and dueling. Okay? Voilà, chauffez bien là, c'est vraiment changement de direction. Okay, good, warm up, warm up. Uh, remember what you're doing with your feet and your free hand. Don't forget your free hand. Okay, S continue running. There you are. Now you're defending. No, no, you didn't do that. You've forgotten. Allez, okay. Alors, on pourrait éventuellement rester un peu plus longtemps là -dessus. Right, okay, we could have done that uh, for more, uh, uh, well, longer, I mean. But, okay, uh, we'll get ready for body uh, impacts, okay? Impacts, just a little one. Uh, we'll see what's very important as defenders, okay? Uh, what's the most important thing for him? His arm, okay? So, try and focus on the arm, okay? Be careful about your feet, don't hesitate. Impact, body impact, hold him back, okay? Right on your feet. When you've done that enough, release. Okay, and let's continue. Tu défenseur. Tu le tiens, tu contrôles. Hold him back. Control. 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 Don't release the player. Good. Good. Excellent. Yeah, this team. Good. You don't need to overdo things. Don't need to overdo things. Allez, petit impact. Okay, we're going to work on three things that are going to be very useful. Three things, okay, three moments. We'll be standing in front of the goal area. Okay, you two, the, the two groups, will be working on this side, okay, and our groups will be working on that side. What's very important is to have enough distance, as if you were going to attack, but well positioned, that is 9-12, more or less, those two lines, with uh, uh, the two uh, back players and one center player. And 
we're going to focus on the three things that are very important, crossing the ball between the uh, wing, the, uh, the right backs and the centre backs, and also a single throw that should have been to the pivot, but try and think that the pivot is here when a player comes on court. Cross the ball uh, that is between the centre back and the left back or right back. There's dueling for the centre back. What's very important is to have more defenders on one side to open up space somewhere else. So dueling with the centre back if you cross on the right or if you cross a throw cross on the left. Everybody's going to be a centre back. Okay, don't forget this. If you're a centre back, there's dueling before you cross throw. Second rule for the centre back if you throw to the right it's with the right hand okay not this way not left hand it's if you throw to the right right hand left left hand okay let me tell you why if you throw uh, right hand to the right then the uh, right back player will be to the exterior whereas on the other side with the other hand uh, he's going to move to the interior of the court that's not what we want we want defenders to be all at the same time so that you open up a space somewhere else now the right backs and left backs that will receive the ball will have to wait wait a little until there's a